How's it going guys? This video I want to show you how to make your GoPro footage look better or more cinematic. For that we need two plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. So click the first link in the description, scroll down here and install Alex 4D. You're gonna get this installer here. Let's open it up and install it here. Let's press the install button. The second thing I prepared are free LUTs. You're gonna need those to have like these nice colors on your video. I'm gonna show you later how to do that. So go down here, all the way down, they're gonna explain how they work. And then download your free LUTs. Here enter your first, last name and your email address and they're gonna send you a link where you can download the free LUTs. So let's open up Final Cut. I prepared some clips here. I want to show you how to adjust the colors. So we have this clip here. It kind of looks gray and it doesn't look really nice. And we want to change that to have a more blue, bluish water and a more like a sunny scene and a more colorful scene. All right. First, I want to slow that down a little bit. Since I shot this clip in 60 frames and uh, the final product is going to be in 30 frames or in 25 better, um, I can I'm be able to slow that down 50%, which is nice. So slowing down a clip is going to make it more stable and it's going to make it look a little better in this case, but you don't have to do that. To add the color adjustments, we just go up here in the right hand corner. And first of all, we want to change the exposure a little bit. In this clip, and usually in GoPro clips, it's good to lower the shadows a little bit, bring up the highlights and the midtones, and however you want it, like in this clip, it would look good to have a little more blue in it, so we take this slider and, and put it in the blue a little more. That's good. So, for the next, we're gonna go in here, in the effects down here, and apply custom LUT. The custom LUT is gonna change the colors of our video. It's kind of like an Instagram filter. Um, so you downloaded these free LUTs from LUTDefy.com. So you're just gonna go and choose custom LUT, go in the folders you downloaded and choose the cube file. I already installed them here and we're just gonna try it out. Oh, look what happened. The video looks super bright and blue, <laughs> a little too much for my um, opinion. So let's get go down a little bit, that's before, that's after. So also you see the horizon is a little wobbly because of the fisheye effect the GoPro does. So for that reason we installed Alex 4 d which is gonna change that. You'll see it's gonna crop in a little bit and it's gonna um, adjust the horizon that is going to be straight. I think 0 0.3 is a little too much, so I'm going to go down a little bit. That looks better to me. So with these few clicks, the GoPro clip looks already better. Let's render that real quick. Let's do the same thing to this clip here. This clip was actually recorded on a gimbal, which makes it way more cinematic. But let's add some of the colors we did earlier. Let's go and change the exposure how we did it last time. Maybe here a little more in the blue. Let's try the Alex 4D. And you gotta know Alex 4D doesn't work all the time. You shouldn't use it on every clip. There might be clips on which it looks weird but I think when there's a landscape in the video it looks better with Alex 4D because it's not that wobbly GoPro feeling. You know what I mean? So also try to, let's try to add the custom lot here. Let's try the same one as before. It looks way more like a vintage style video, which I really like. And I think a lot of people like that. That's before and that's after. With these few clicks, your GoPro footage looks way more professional than before. So it's very easy and free. So just try it out with your own clips and figure out the best way because there's 
no perfect way to add you um, to edit your GoPro footage. That was it from this tutorial, and yeah, see you in the next one.